Hello everyone I am Madhulika and I welcome you all to my channel Uncomplicate with Madhulika In this video we are going to learn about how to add a course on Moodle but first we will add a category and then add a course on Moodle Now as you see we can directly add a course by clicking on the add new course option available on the site home page However it is recommended that we first create a category and then add a course considering that as a course creator we will be adding more than one course secondly in our institution for example we will be having more than one department and that department will be having various subjects in those subjects we will be creating a course in such cases adding a category first will help to create our content well organized and help in locating the courses in a better manner Let's understand this with the help of an example. We may be working in an institution which may have three departments: science, commerce, and humanities. Now, in the commerce department, there are two subjects: business studies and accountancy. And we are creating the course for students of class twelfth studying business studies. In this case, commerce is our top or parent category. Business studies is our sub category. in the commerce department and business studies for class 12th is our course under business studies subject now so let's see how we can apply this in moodle all right so we are currently on site home so first click on site administration in site administration when we scroll down we see courses in courses let's go to the third option which says add a category in adding a category we see parent category top so here in the category name we mention commerce which is our parent category as per the example that we had taken you can add any description if you want and then click on create category now you can see that we have made a parent category by the name of commerce by default we also have a miscellaneous category Let's leave it at that. Now let's create another category, which is our sub category. Now you see, by default, we have commerce. Now you see, this is our sub category under the commerce department. So our parent category, commerce department, we are making a sub category under it. So this is business studies. If you have any ID number, you can mention, or we can leave it at that. It's not a mandatory field. Again, mention a description if you have. Otherwise, you can leave this as blank and create another category. Now you see, we have made commerce as a parent category and business studies as a sub category. You can see this on the screen. Now to create a course, let's go to site administration again. Courses. and click on add a new course so our course name is business studies for class 12 short name now you see we have course category and by default moodle has kept this course under miscellaneous but this is not a miscellaneous course this course will be coming under the business studies sub category which is under the commerce top category so we have to search this in the drop down menu see here we have commerce slash business studies so let's select this option course visibility show if we want to show the course to our students right now we can create show otherwise we can hide this course start date you can disable this if you want or if you want it to be time bound you can enable this so let's say my course is a one year course so the dates are fine and course id number let's say my id number is I have an ID number if you don't it's fine it's not a mandatory field again we have course summary now here it is important that we write a summary because this will be visible to your students so i have a course summary made this is my course course cool 
14. Now, if you want to link a page, like for example, I have a page for syllabus. So I can do so by highlighting the entire click here and clicking on link. If you have a URL, let's put a URL. Now this has become a hyperlink. So now students can access the syllabus by clicking on this option. Again, let's say total marks, total Now if you see this toolbar, you have various options. You can link, unlink, add an emoji, add an image, add a video, which is already created. You can record an audio in real time. You can even record a video in real time. So let's just record an audio. This is an introductory course. This is an introductory course. See, we have added our recording. If there are any other things, for example, you want to add a video from YouTube, you can do so, YouTube or any other website. If you have any image, you can do so. Now we can see course format. You have various options. When you hover on this question mark and click on it, you can see what those options mean. Right now we'll be selecting a topics format. By default, the number of sections will be four. If you know the number of topics, that's great. You can select an option accordingly. If you don't, then four is fine. We can later add topics once the course is created. There are no other things that we want to change. And let's click on save and display. So you see our course has now been created. Let's click on the short name and see. Here it is. We have these topics. Now to name these topics, it is important that you turn the editing on. So we then we can edit the text here. Now we have added our topics, but we see that we have to add one more topic to it. So click on add topics. Let's click on add topic. You can here also, you can select the number of topics that you want to add. Right now, I want to add only one topic. Once we are done, click on turn editing off. You, so you see now our topics are displayed. The same can even be seen on the left side of the page. When we scroll down, we will see this. And that's it. We have created a course category and we can check this by clicking the site home tab. You see our available course is now business studies for class 12th and we have our description here along with our audio that we recorded. Now we can also check this by switching our role to a student. See it is available to them on their site homepage. So that's it. We have created our course in Moodle. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you've liked it then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
and if you have any questions comments suggestions or feedback please write to me in the comment section below